What's going on guys? In today's video we're going to be reviewing the Cove wearable. This wearable is, is designed to help somebody with sleep and stress. So how this review is going to be a little bit different than other reviews of uh, tech products that you've seen is that I'll be validating my results with the LEAF continuous HRV tracker as well as the Aura Ring that you can see, which the Aura Ring is not a continuous HRV tracker, but it is something that I wear at night. And if this device was actually helping improve my sleep, the Aura Ring would have captured it. So coming up in this video, I'll be showing you my stats as to what happens when uh, I wear the leaf as well as my ordering results from a month of sleeping after wearing this cove um, like three to four times a day and uh, an intensity of about five or four. Now they recommend that you wear it at least once a day and um, I mean, overall, this device is nice. Like, it's very lightweight. It's beautiful. Um, you put it on the back of your head like so. And um, it just gives you these gentle vibrations that you can adjust the intensity of. Uh, it also comes with an app, but there are buttons here to adjust the intensity. And this button is to turn it on and off. So the app is basically um, worthless at this time. There's no added value in it. So you can just do everything um, by using the hardware buttons. All right, so the results are coming up. First, you'll see my sleep stats about a week before I got the Cove, which was on January 27th. So, yeah, my deep sleep is at uh, over two hours here. My REM sleep is an hour. Going the next day, REM sleep, hour and a half. Deep sleep is two hours. So looking, you know, things are looking pretty good. Let's start looking at my data with the cove. REM sleep is not good. REM sleep is not good. Deep sleep is only an hour. Uh, REM sleep and deep sleep are great here. Let's kind of fast forward in time a little bit. REM sleep and deep sleep weren't great at all. Yeah, so as you can see so far, we're already in mid-February and there's just no consistency in my sleep results. Uh, nothing that I could say that Co was like made a huge difference in either my REM or deep sleep, unfortunately. Um, but let's get back to my session for now. Um, my laboratory is looking good. It's at 40. Four minutes in. So overall, I think that um, the Cove is like a decent product and I, I did see just like a little bit of improvement in sleep, a little bit of improvement in uh, stress resilience after wearing it for a month. Um, but the problem is the Cove costs $500. Yes, I've never spent so much on a wearable or technology ever. So the results that I was expecting from the Cove were significant 
and the results that I received from the cove were very minor, at least so far. I mean, maybe if I, if they had a longer uh, return period, I'd wear it for maybe like two months and um, maybe I'd see some more improvements. But that being said, um, I did end up returning the cove. Uh, their customer service was great anytime and very fast uh, when, when I was reporting bugs or anything like that. Um, so I figure I will have no problem getting a refund. And uh, yeah, feel free to check out that product. 